Time for tonight's rewrite. With Medicare at the center of the budget fight in Washington, groups on both sides are taking to the airwaves to convince voters that they are trying to save Medicare. The latest entry in the ad war is from the 60 Plus Association, which bills itself as, quote, the conservative alternative to the liberal AARP, end quote. The group is spending $800,000 to run radio ads in 39 different congressional districts. Something unusual happened last week in Washington, D.C., of all places. Elected officials actually did what they said they would. The House passed a budget that protects and preserves Medicare for years to come. Our national debt is $14 trillion. America is literally spending money we don't have and future generations won't be able to afford. With 10,000 baby boomers reaching retirement age every day, important programs like Medicare are being crushed and could collapse if we don't act to strengthen and improve them. No changes for seniors on Medicare now or those who will soon go on it. Control costs by targeting waste, fraud, and abuse so current and future seniors receive the quality care they have earned. Paid for by the 60 Plus Association. So the House passed a budget that protects and preserves Medicare for years to come. I did not know that because that's not exactly what the Republican budget does to Medicare. The Republican budget repeals Medicare. Then, after repealing Medicare, the Republican budget creates a new, untested, unexamined program built on wishful thinking and lies that does not work anything like Medicare and would not provide the medical care that Medicare provides. It's as if I took away your car, then gave you a bicycle and told you it's a car. Not all health care financing ideas for people over 65 are the same. Not all of them have the right to the same name. Republicans want to abolish Medicare and replace it with a program that should be called something like meta spending. In Medicare, the emphasis is on care, actual health care, the delivery of the health care that you need. In the Paul Ryan meta spending plan, the emphasis is on government spending, not providing health care. And in order to cut government spending on health care, the Ryan plan simply provides people over 65 some limited financial assistance in paying for health insurance they would obtain in the private market, which does not currently exist in the private market. There is in the Ryan plan no guarantee of actually obtaining health care for people over 65. None. No guarantee. The only guarantee in the Ryan plan is the guarantee that the government will limit its spending on your health care no matter what you may require. Needless to say, people over 65 require more health care than any of the rest of us and require more complex and expensive health care than any of the rest of us. The Ryan plan is specifically designed to deny people over 65 expensive health care. That is how it saves the government money, and that is the only way it saves the government money. Anyone who uses the word Medicare to describe the Ryan voucher plan has no comprehension at all of what Medicare actually is or how it actually works. Here's the best question anyone has asked a Republican about the Ryan plan. What happens to a person, if this plan is enacted, who uses the 15000 which, by the way, if they're in an assisted living facility, they'll go through it in three months. You know, what happens to them? What do they do when they use up the 15000 by this time of the year? What happens? I'm just asking. We don't know yet because... <laughs> we, that's right. We don't know. But we do know what happens to people who need medical care under Medicare, they get that medical care. That is the guarantee of the Medicare program. And the Medicare program delivers medical care more efficiently than any other health insurance or health care delivery program in this country. It is heartening to see through the polls that an overwhelming number of Americans understand the truth about Medicare. 
and how effectively and fairly it works and how quickly and smoothly it actually delivers health care, not vouchers, care, health care. Those polls have made it clear to Republicans that the only way they can win in the 2012 election is to continue to tell the lie that their plan protects and preserves Medicare.